Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. Our word of the year, pray, praying with Jesus for April 6th. Follow me. Book of Matthew chapter 9 verse 9. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth and he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. Thanks be to God. God and Jesus addresses us by a personal manner and with a personal command. He does not impersonally recruit us as workers or functionaries. When we respond, we move out of a life in which what we do or others do is the main thing and into a life where God is the controlling center. Point to ponder, question to ponder. What do you know about tax collectors? And I would think this could definitely relate to them like Matthew, but also think about tax collectors today. Let's pray. Follow, I would follow thee, my Lord. Follow every passing day. My tomorrows are all known to thee. Thou wilt lead me all the way. Anonymous. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray to our nation. The title is Deception. Here's the quote by Woodrow Wilson, the 28th press, um, president of the United States. There are a good many problems before American people today and before me as president, but I expect to find the solution to those problems just in the proportion that I am faithful in the study of the Word of God. Thanks, Pete. That's just very good. We need that today. So, these are the passages, and I'm actually just going to do them in the order that they come in the Bible instead of, like, running back and forth. So, we have... The book of John, chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through the truth, through my truth, thy, the word, thy word is truth. Amen. I'm going to back up. I did say an order and I started. Psalms is the first one I wanted to do and it's okay. So Psalms. 119, verse 105. 119, verse 105. Thy word is a light unto my lamp and a light unto my path. Very good. Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman, travail upon a woman, with child, and they shall escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of night, of the night or darkness, or darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And then First John, we have two passages. Chapter 2, verses 20, and then 26 and 27. But ye have an unction of, from the Holy One, and ye know all things. And then 26 and 27. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye not, and need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it has taught you, ye shall abide in him. And lastly, we're going to the book of Revelations, and that's chapter 20, verse 3, chapter 20, verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and a and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousands of years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be, after that he must be loosed a little season. 
Thanks be to God. Deception. Let's pray. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you have made me a child of the light. I thank you for your holy written word, which gives light to my path, and for the unction of the Holy Ghost, which leads me into all truth. I pray that your light would shine so brightly that the, through the body of Christ that even the path of our nation is to take will be illuminated by it. May no deceiving person be successful in obtaining political office or able to influence governing decisions. Oh, Jesus. And I pray that they will be exposed in their attempts to, to sway public opinion in their favor. Oh, please, Jesus, in your name. May truth and righteousness prevail in our nation from this day forward. In Jesus' name, I pray. Please, Lord. Our country and our world need you so much. Tremendously. Well, we will pick up tomorrow and continue the state of the word of the year today um, for 2023. And I'll talk to you later for the Resurrection Day, Easter, Passover, Lent study. Have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Peace be with you.